ating pong pag-aaralan sa gabi ito ay pinamagatan ko pong knock knock who's there. Eh, hindi po yan joke. <laughs> knock knock who's there. Mamaya madalaman niyo kung bakit knock knock who's there. It's about our true identity in Christ. True our identity in Christ. Kapag may, tum- may pagkakayoy kumatok sa pintuan, ng, uh, may kumatok sa inyong pintuan o kayo ang kumatok sa pintuan ng, ng isang tao, ng kakilala, someone's door, at sinabi po niya, tinanong niya sa iyo, who's there? Ano po kaya ang inyong isasagot? Okay, pag kumatok kayo sa pintuan ng kung sino man, tinanong niya kayo na, sino yan? Ano kaya ang isasagot natin? We will talk about our true identity in Christ. Ang tunay nating pagkakilanlan, malalim yung Tagalog eh, pagkakilanlan, true identity in Christ, Sino ka ba? Yun yung tanong mga kapatid. Sa harapan ng Panginoon, dahil sa ating pagkakilala sa Panginoon, sino po ba tayo? Alright? Ang ating pong text ang ating pong key text is from 2 Corinthians 5.17. Sinabi, sinabi ng Biblia, sapagkat ang sino mang nakipag-isa na kay Kristo ay bago ng nilalang. Wala na ang luma niyang pagkata- pagkatao, siya ay bago na. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Tignan nyo yung katabi niya, bago ba? <laughs> o dati pa rin sabi bago tayong nilalang kapag tayong nakipag-isa na kay Kristo wala na ang lumang pagkatao wala na yung da- dating si Cesar o, na basagulero na chick boy <laughs> wala na yun may bago na bago po tayo magpatuloy sa ating pag-aaral meron pong kwento ditong maiksing kwento this is from Theology News and uh, Notes October 9- 1976 pa yung kwento na ito Itong kwento na ito yung tinatawag na You are an eagle. You are an eagle. Sige, may post natin. Sabi dito ng kwento, While walking through the forest one day, ayan, pakipatay po yung ano para nag-feedback eh. Ayan. While walking through the forest one day, a man found young eagle who had fallen out of his nest. He took it home and put it in his barnyard where it soon learned to eat and behave like the chicken. Nakakita siya ng iglet. No? Sa, yung eagle, yung baby iglet. Eh, diba? Nakakita siya ng iglet, yung farmer. Ang ginawa niya, inuwi niya, dinala niya sa barn. Tapos, nakisalamuha itong eagle na ito dun sa mga chick, sa mga chicken. One day, a naturalist passed by a farm and asked why it was the king of all birds should be, be confined to live in the barn, barnyard with the chickens. Bakit nandyan yan? No? The farmer the farmer replied that since he had given it chicken feed pinapakain niya ng pagkain ng mga manok and trained to be a chicken no no it had never learned to fly it ang nangyari dito sa eagle ano hindi na siya natutong lumipad kumakain siya ng pagkain ng mga manok at lumalakad na parang manok nakikisalamuha sa mga manok hindi na siya natutong lumipad since it now behave as a chicken I want to emphasize this, mga Since now it behaved as a chicken, it was no longer an eagle. Nabago na yung kanyang identity. Bakit? He behaved like that. Next. Sabi dito, still it has the heart of an eagle. Sabi nung naturalist. Yung naturalist, they, they study from uh, yung, yung natural history. Pati yung mga animals. Pinag-aaralan din nila. O yung mga naturalist. Reply the naturalist. And can surely be taught to fly. Kasi nga, still it has the heart of an eagle. And can surely be taught to fly. He lifted the eagle toward the sky and said, You belong to sky and not to the earth. Stretch forth your wings and fly. Sabi niya dun sa, sa eagle. Pinapa, pinapakawalan niya. Next. Sabi dito, the eagle, however, was confused. Kasi sanay siyang maging chicken. Mamuhay na parang chicken. Hindi lumipad. He did not know who he was. And seeking the chickens eating their food, he jumped down to be with them again. Kasi sanay siyang maging chicken eh. Takot siyang lumipad, hindi naman siya sanay na maging eagle. Bumalik siya doon sa barnyard, kumain ulit ng pagkain mga manok. Nakisalamuha ulit sa mga manok. The naturalist took the bird to the roof of the house and urged him again, saying, You are an eagle! Sabi niya, Stretch forth your wings and fly! Sabi niya doon sa eagle. Kasi nire-remind niya, yung identity. Hindi ka manok. Sabi mo nga sa tayo mo, hindi ka manok. <laughs> okay. But the eagle was afraid of his unknown self. Hindi niya kilala yung kanyang sarili. Pagkakilala niya, 
and world and jump down once more for the chicken food. Balik talag balik eh. Kasi nga, alam niya sa sarili niya, chicken siya eh. Finally, the naturalist took the eagle out of the van, barnyard to the high mountain. Dinala niya sa pinakamataas na bulubunduking. There he had the king of the birds high above him and encouraged him again saying, You are an eagle. You belong to the sky. Stretch forth your wings and fly. Sabi niya sa eagle na yan. Then anong nangyari? The eagle looked around back towards the bar- barnyard and up to the sky. Then the naturalist lifted him straight toward the sun and it it happened that the eagle began to tremble. Nakinaginig siya, hindi naman sa sun ay lumipad eh. Slowly he stretched his wings and with the triumph cry, alam niyo yung cry ng ng eagle, di ba? Matindi yung parang parang, ah! Ganun yun. No? <laughs> Pati hindi, wala takot ka eh. Ano? Parang, parang kaya na king of the old birds eh. Parang pag nag-roar yung, yung, yung uh, eagle eh. Slowly he stretched his wings and with triumphant cry soared away into the heavens. Hindi na, bak, 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 hindi na gano'n. <laughs> hindi gano'n. He, 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 he shouted, he triumphantly shouted like a, a king of the, the birds. Next, anong nangyari? Yun na, okay na ba? Tapos na ba yan? Alright, yun yung kwento. So, hindi siya manok ba, kapatid? He is not a chicken. He is an eagle. That's what we are going to talk about tonight. Ano ba yung ating identity? Dapat alam mo ang pagkakakilalan mo. Dapat kilala mo ang sarili mo, katatayuan mo sa Panginoon. Your true identity in Christ. Amen? It may be that the eagle still remember the chicken with nostalgia. It may even be the occasionally revisit the barnyard. But as far as anyone knows, he has never returned to lead the life of a chicken. Ganito, ganito rin tayo mga kapatid. Minsan naaalala natin yung ating lumang pagkatao. Nagbabalik tayo sa ating lumang pagkatao. Pero tandaan natin kung sino tayo sa harapan ng Panginoon. Ang isi-share ko po sa inyo, tatlong points lamang, three points, i-post natin yung ating uh, PowerPoint. Ito po ang isi-share natin sa inyo sa gabing ito. Number one is our foundation of your true identity. Pundasyon ng iyong tunay na pagkakilanlan sa Panginoon. Sino ka ba? Ano ang magiging pundasyon ng pagkakilanlan? Your identity, ano yung root, ano yung yung Foundation. Anong sabi natin dito? What defines your true identity? Where do you anchor your self-worth? Saan nakakapit, saan nakaangkla yung pagkakilalan mo sa sarili mo? Kasi kapag kilala mo yung worth mo, alam mo yung worth mo mga kapatid, alam mo yung identity mo, alam mo yung worth mo. Hello? Ulitin ko mga kapatid, pag alam mo kung sino ka, ano yung value mo rin, ay malalaman mo. Ano yung worth ko? Because I know who I am. Naalala ko yung kwento, hindi kasama to dito sa notes ko eh. Yung, yung kwento, sabi nung isang isang lumang-lumang classic na nasa sakyan. O ibenta mo yan sa junk shop, binayuhan lang na magkano. O, o isang daan. O yung binenta niya sa ibang, sa ibang tao, ay luma na yan, ba't ko bibili niya? O uh, binayuhan lang ng sikwenta. Binigay niya sa, sa classic uh, collector ng kotse. Bin, bin, binayuhan niya ng napakalaking halaga. Nakikita niyo mga kapatid, if you know your identity, alam mo yung kung sino ka, malalaman mo rin yung value mo eh. Hello? Kaya hindi natin, alam mo yung value natin, yung self-worth natin, ang tingin natin sa sarili natin ang baba eh. Hello? Bakit, bakit? You don't know who you are. You, you think like a chicken. You think that you are, a chi- you are just a chicken. While in fact you are an eagle. Amen. Defining your true identity, we let's compare believers versus unbeliever. Ito na yung yung ating comparison. Ang unbeliever, ito yung identity ng isang hindi mananampalataya. Wala sa Panginoong Hesus. Hindi nakakakilala, sumasamba sa Panginoong Kristo. An unbeliever is a sinner, makasalanan. That's your your that's your identity. Object of God's wrath. Yung yung galit ng Panginoon nananatili sa isang makasalanan. Ano pa? Destined for eternal destruction. Biblical mga kapatid, ang sino mang hindi mananampalataya ay mapupunta sa walang hanggang kaparusahan. Pero ang unbeliever, forgiven, say amen, 
Amen. Isang tunay na mananampalataya, pinatawad na. Compared to a sinner. Apple of God's eye compared to object of God's wrath na sa isang unbeliever na nanatili ang galit ng Diyos sa iyo. Pero ang isang mananampalataya, apple of God's eye. Pag nakita ka ng Panginoon, you are the apple of His eyes. This thing for eternal life in heaven. Kaya nga sabi ng Biblia, For God so loved the world that whosoever believes in Him, that who, ah, sino man mananampalataya, whoever believes in Him should not perish but have ever, uh, eternal life. Sino mong mananampalatay sa Panginoon, hindi mapapahamak kung hindi makakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. True identity identity can only be found in Jesus Christ. Ang tunay mong pagkakilalan, matatagpuan mo lang ito, hindi kung sa boyfriend mo, hindi sa nanay mo, kundi kung sino ang gumawa sa atin, sino ang lumikha sa atin. Amen? Our Creator, the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi ng John 15 verse 5, I am the vine. Sabi ng Panginoong Iso Kristo, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, sinong nananatili sa akin, in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Kung hiwalay ka sa Panginoong Iso Kristo, andiyan kayo? Kung wala kang relationship sa Panginoong Iso Kristo, you are nothing. Apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, we are nothing. That's why our true identity can only be found in Jesus Christ. Matatagpuan mo lang ang kung sino ka kapag nakilala mo ang Creator mo. Hello? Malalaman mo kung sino ka pag nakilala mo ang Panginoong Jesus Christ. Because apart from Him, we are nothing. We can do nothing. It is only in Christ we found who we are and our purpose in life. Now, nakilala mo kung sino ka, yan ang pinakamatitinding tanong ng mga tao. Sino ako? Saan ako pupunta? Anong layunin ng buhay ko dito sa mundo? Kapag nasagot mo yan, kapatid, masasagot mo lang yan kung kilala mo ang Panginoong Yesus. If you have a real relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, because He is our Creator. Galatians 2.20, sabi ng, ng, ni, ni Pablo rito, ito isa sa aking favorite verse eh. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. Wala na ang luma kong pagkatao. But Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loves me and gave Himself for me. Wala na ang luma kong pagkatao. Diba? Namatay na ang kasama ng Panginoon Iso Kristo. Nabubuhay ako ngayon sa pamamagitan, sa pamamata- pananampalataya sa Panginoon. May new purpose ka na. Anong purpose mo? To live in faith. Mamuhay sa pananampalataya sa Panginoong Iso Kristo. Do not let your status and career define you. That's your foundation. Hello mga kapatid, are you listening? What is Number one point is what is the, the foundation of your true identity? Do not let your status and career define you. Minsan mga kapatid, hinahayaan natin yung trabaho, yung career natin, i-define tayo. Kung sino tayo. One of the first place that you can be tempted to look to is your career. Spending your time and energy pursuing your career can cause you to feel like it is defining characteristic of who you are. Kasi ginagawa mo maghapon itong trabaho na ito. For example, you are just an, you are a nurse. Maghapon mo ginagawa ito. So I am a nurse. You le- you are letting your career define you. I am an engineer. It is, it's, it is now your foundation of your identity. Ginagawa natin itong pundasyon ng kung sino ka. Ayun si Doc, ayun si Engineer. Ay, listen mga kapatid. Nagiging yun ang foundation ng ating, ating uh, pagkakilalan. Our status, career, grades, appearance, and reputation are all sinking sand. Guguhong lahat yan. Nandiyan kayo? Kahit sino ka pa sa karir mo, kapatid, kung yan ang foundation ng pagkakilalan mo, ng self-worth mo, ng identity mo, eh paano pag nawala ka ng trabaho? Paano pag binaba ang posisyon mo? Eh wala na yung self-worth mo? Wala na yung pagkakilalan mo? Kasi doon nakabase ang iyong pagkakilalan sa Panginoon. 
It is all sinking sand and it should not be the foundation of your true identity. If you base your identity in all of this, you are setting yourself for a huge disappointment. Kapag nandyan yung, 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 yung pagkakilala, nakabase, hindi, ano ako, isa akong doktor, isa akong engineer, isa akong, isa akong philosopher, etc., etc. Nakabase dyan yung identity mo, ang pagkakilala mo. O, anak ako ni Mayor. <laughs> diba? Yan lang lagi natin. Pag may kaaway sa, 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 sa ano, road rage, eh. o, anak ako ni Mayor, anak ako ni Congressman. Nakabase dun yung pagkakilala ni. Eh. But you are setting yourself in a huge disappointment. Maudi disappoint ka later on kapag nandyan yung iyong pagkakilanlan. Paano pagka tumanda ka na? Wala na yung pagkakilanlan mo. Sabi ng Malakay 3.6 Saan natin ngayon ibabase yung ating pagkakilanlan? Una sa Diyos, pangalawa sa kanyang mga salita. Bakit? Ang Diyos ay hindi nagbabago. Nandiyan kayo? So kapag nakaangkla ang iyong pagkakilanlan sa Diyos, kasi siya ang nalumikha sa iyo eh. Kung ano yung sinabi ng Diyos, kung sino ka, yun yung pagkakilanlan mo, it will never change. Bakit sabi ng Malakay? Bakit? Sure foundation ang, ang Diyos. Bakit? God never changes. Sabi ng Malakay 3.6, For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, O son of Jacob, are not consumed. I am the Lord. Hindi ako nagbabago. So let us base our identity in the Lord. Ano pa? Sa salita ng Diyos. Kapag nakabase ang pagkakilalan mo, kung sino ka sa salita ng Panginoon, hindi yan maguguho. Bakit? Sabi ng Biblia, he, His word will not pass away. Luke 21.33 Heaven and earth will pass away. Mawawala lahat ng nakikita ninyo. Yung kasama ninyo, mawawala. Yung, yung, pinagkakat, yung trabaho natin, mawawala lahat. But His word will not pass away. Hindi magbabago yan. So do not let your failures and weaknesses define who you are. Do not let your career, do not let your weaknesses and failure define you. Yes, mahina tayo minsan. Pero hindi kayon. Hello? Andyan pa kayo? Nakikinig kayo mga kapatid? Do not let your weaknesses and failure in life define you. Oh, nagka, nag, nagkamali ka one time. But don't let it define who you are. Hello? Minsan nakaangkla yung ating pagkakit. Hindi, ganun na ako eh. Habang buhay, ganun ka na natingin mo sa sarili mo. Do not let your failures and weaknesses define who you are. Oh, nang babae ka noon, bu- habang buhay, ay babaero ako eh. Hindi ganun na, patid. Do not let it define you. Who are... Who we are, we are not the sum of our weaknesses and failure. Minsan, yun yung sinasabi ng iba. Eh. Kung sino ako ngayon, because of my failures, my struggles, that's who I am. That's not who you are. Kaya magulo ang buhay ko ngayon, Pastor. Marami akong problema sa buhay because I am, the su- I am sum of all my weaknesses and failure in life. That's not who you are. Hindi kayo, kapatid. That's not your true identity. People may define who you are based on your past. Pag tinignan ka nila, hindi ka nila nakikita kung sino ka ngayon. Eh. Maaaring kristyano ka ngayon, naglilingkod ka na sa Panginoon. But some people will define who you are based on your past. Ayun, si Aling, Aling Marites, Marites talaga yun, hindi na magbabago eh. Forever na yung Marites. Forever na yung Lasinggero. Naku, kilala ko yan. Pagka binanggit ka sa isang taon, naku, si, ano, si Cesar, naku, gagano'n pa eh. Kilala ko yan. They will define you because of your past. So that's not your true identity, mga kapatid. Sabi ng binasa natin, you are a new creation. Bago ka na. Amen? Parang ayaw niyo pa rin maniwala eh. Do not define me by my past. Sabihin mo sa kanya, do not define me by my, by my past. I don't live there anymore. People will define you because of your past. Ay, pasaway yung, ano yun, no? alam ko yung bata na yun, pasaway yung mula po pagkabata. They are defining because of your mistakes, because of your struggles in life. 
They are trying to define you. Ayan si ano, ate, ganyan yan. Eh. Do not let them define who you are. Do not let them define you because of your past. Your past is past. Nakaraan na yun eh. Amen. Let it pass. Do not let the world define who you are. Yung mundo, they are, the, the world is trying to define who you are. Give you your, your identity which is not yours. Not your educational attainment. Minsan, dinidefine natin, dinidefine ng mundo. Ah, yan, may pinag-aralan yan. Eh. Yan, yan yung identity niya. Not your position in company. Hindi yung position mo. Position lang yan eh. Walang araw makawala rin yun. Pantay-pantay tayo sa lami. Pantay. Maaaring dahil sa ginawa mo sa Panginoon, meron kang, meron kang position sa langit. No? Pero dito sa lupa, mga kapatay, wala naman yan. Wala namang sense yan balang araw. Di ba? Walang sense yung ating position. Do not let the world define who you are. If you know your true identity, identity which is found in Christ alone, it will give you genuine confidence and boldness. Nandiyan kayo? Kung alam mo kung sino ka sa Panginoong Heso Kristo, kung yung true identity mo, may confidence ka eh. Bakit ka may iya humarap sa presidente, kapatid? Nandiyan kayo? People may think, ay, a janitor lang yan eh. They are trying to define you because of your livelihood, because of your position in, in a company. Pero if you know your true identity, which is found in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have a true confidence and boldness. Bakit harap, harap ako? Bakit? Alam ko kung sino. Anak ako ng Diyos. I am a child of God. I am washed. I am a chosen son of God. Amen. Hindi si ano, hindi si Kibulo, yeah? We are chosen and we are children of God. You know? Amen. You are, your identity is not how you see yourself, but how God sees you. Ang tunay mong pagkakilanlan kung sino ka, hindi yung paano mo nakikita ang sarili mo. Kung paano mo nakikita ang sarili mo, maaari mali yan. Eh, eh ganito lang ako eh. Eh, ganito ako, isa akong mababang uri ng tao, isa akong makasalanan, isa akong ganito. Ganyan mo nakikita yung sarili mo. Ba't ang tanong, paano ka nakikita ng Diyos? You are who God says you are. You are who God says you are. Pag sinabi ng Diyos kung sino ka, yun yun. Hello? That's your foundation of your true identity. You are who God says You are. Yan yung true identity mo. Makikita mo lang yan sa Panginoon Yesu Cristo. Number two is adversary, adversary of your true identity. Kalaban. Sino ang kalaban ng ating pagkakilanlan? Ng ating true identity? Wala nang iba, siyempre. Dictionary defines the word adversary as one's opponent in a contest, conflict, or dispute. Sino ang kalaban ng identity natin? Wala nang iba kundi si Satan. First Peter 5.8 says, Be sober. Minded, be watchful. Pasayin natin. Be sober-minded. 1 Peter 5.8. Nandiyan ba? 1 uh, Peter 5.8 sabi dito. Be sober and minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Ang, ad- ang kalaban natin, ang kalaban natin wala nang iba kundi ang kaaway, si Satan. Anong ginagawa ni Satan sa ating identity? The enemy's work is to deceive and derail. Are you listening? Deceive and derail you from your true identity. Dadayain ka ng kaaway kung hindi, hindi naman ikaw yon. Dadayain ka niya and he will derail you. Ibig sabihin, ito yung daan mo eh. He will derail you. Didiskaril ka sa kalooban ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Because you are living someone you are not. You are living like a chicken. He will deceive you and He will derail you. He will use other people to inculcate in your mind who you are not. Gagamit siya ng ibang tao para itanim sa utak mo kung sino hindi, hindi ka naman yung tao na yun. Sasabihin sa'yo, chicken, you are a chicken. You are a chicken. You are a... The devil will use some people to derail you and deceive you from your true identity. People will call you names. Ano sasabihin sa'yo? Stupid, stupid. 
People will call you names. The devil will use people to deceive you, someone you are not. People will call you stupid. Sabi ng iba, you will not amount to, to anything. Hindi, wala kang mararating sa buhay. You will not go anywhere. Diyan ka lang. Wala kang mararating sa buhay. People will, uh, the devil will use people. Para i-derail ka, i-deceive ka sa isa bagay na hindi, na, hindi ka naman. People will label you and treat you according to what you do for living. O, oh, isa ka lang hamak na tagahugas. Isa ka lang hamak na janitor. People will use the, do such thing. The, the enemy will try to do that. To label you, mga kapatid. You are not stupid. You are not product of mistake. Minsan, nakik- na, na, sinasabi natin, sa, I'm just a product of mistake. Yung nanay ko, hindi naman... Uh, Putok sa buhay yata ang tao doon, di ba? Yung nanay ko, eh, ano, parang, ano, eh, parang kalimderiya, naging bukas sa... I am just product of mistake. You are not a product of mistake. That's not who you are. That's not your true identity. Minsan, yun ang tingin natin sa ating sarili. Niloko lang yung nanay ko, ganito, ganito ang aking pagkatao. I tell you, do not be influenced with people calling you a chicken. and treating you like a chicken, behave like an eagle. People will treat you like a chicken. Let them treat you like a chicken. Amen? Let them treat you like a chicken. But do not believe them. You are not a chicken. They will treat you, and they will call you, oh, you are just a chicken. They will treat you like a chicken. They will give you feed for, for, for chicken. Okay, let them. Let them, let them do that, but never believe them. You are not just a chicken. Amen? You are not just a chicken. Behave like an eagle. Behave like an eagle. You are an eagle. Eh? You are a child of God. Behave like a child of God. That's your true identity. You are a child of the living God. You are citizens of heaven. You are Who, you, who God says you are. You are who God says you are. Ano pang gagamitin ni Satan? He will use your environment to mold who you are not. Our environment, the people we hang out with, can be used by the enemy to influence you to become someone you are not. Gagamitin niya, Alen, para makalimutan mo na isa kang eagle, pag palagi mo kasama mga chicken, Para makalimutan mo na, igil pala ako. The devil will use the people around us to deceive us. Hello, are you listening? Gagamitin niya yung mga tao. Ay, yung mga tao sa paligid mo, lasinggero. Eh, ay, lasinggero ako. Hindi ikaw, yun eh. Binago ka na ng Panginoon. Parang ayaw pa rin maniwala eh. Mamaya, no? Nawa, maniwala na kayo. What you do na, you do in life can be used by the enemy to derail you from your true identity. Some people lose themselves for the sake of popularity and money. Gagamitin din ng kaawa yung ginagawa mo sa buhay eh. Yung kabuhayan mo minsan eh. May mga tao, kasa, katulad ni yung si Nikado, uh, abukado siguro, napanood nyo na rin yun. Isa siyang vegetarian noon, activist. Kinakain lang niya gulay-gulay bawal ng karne. Later on, dahil sa popularity, kumain siya na kung ano-ano. Lahat ng junk food. Talaga namang napakaraming pagkain. Napakalaki niya na ngayon. He let his environment defines who he is. Tapos sinisisi niya ngayon yung mga tao. It is because of you. Lumaki siya eh. Talaga namang napakalaki. Tapos may sakit na siya eh. Sinisisi niya yung mga viewers niya dahil sa ginawa niya. Because he let People define who who he is. Naka-influenza. Do not let your experiences define you. You might experience injustice, verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. Do not let those experiences define who you are. Yung na-experience mo kapatid, maaaring na-abuse ka nung bata ka, that's not your true identity. Maaaring gamitin ni Satan yon. O, oh, isa ka lang ano eh. 
O, i-abuse ka. O, kaya ngayon, you are an angry person kasi you base your identity because of your experience. Eh, I was verbally abused. I was physically abused. So that's why I am angry right now. I am a madman. Do not let it define who you are. That's not who you are. He will use your past. Ito din yung sinasabi natin. The devil will use, the adversary will use your past. Satan will keep using your past so that you forgot or forget who you are in Christ. Do not believe the enemy. All words that comes from his mouth are nothing but lies. Huwag mong paniwalaan yung kaaway. You are a sinner before, but you are no longer uh, a sinner right now. You are justified in Christ. Amen? Do not get stuck in someone you are not. Do not get stuck some, in someone you are not. Sabi ng Ephesians 4.17, basahin natin, I have something from the Lord to tell you. Ito, easy, uh, easy to read version. I want you, don't continue in living like those who don't believe. Their thoughts are worth nothing. Basahin nga natin ulit sabay-sabay. I have something from the Lord to tell you. I warn you, don't continue living like those who don't believe. Their thoughts are worth nothing. Huwag na kayong mamuhay katulad ng unbeliever, sabi dito mga kapatid. Nananampalataya ba kayo kay, kay Jesus Christ? Sabi ni Apostle Pablo rito, huwag na kayong mamuhay na parang unbeliever. Mamuhay na, na kayo na parang believer. Ephesians 4.21, sabi dito, ituloy natin yung pagbasa. Know that you heard about him. Nakapakinig na kayo ng katotohanan eh. Basahin natin sabay-sabay. You were taught to live your own self. Also, muna. Low battery. Paki-close mo muna yung low battery. Pakisaksak mo muna natin. Yan. Okay. Sabi dito, basahin ko. Verse 22, You were taught to live your old self. This means that you're, you must stop living the evil way. You lived before. The old self gets worse and worse because people are fooled by the evil they want to do. You must be made new, your hearts and your thinking. Huwag na kayong mamuhay gaya ng sanlibutan. Amen? I-post natin ulit, kapatid. Anong sabi niya doon sa verse na yun? Amen? Okay. I know that you heard about him and in him you were taught the truth. Yes, the truth is in Jesus. You were taught to live your old self. Iwan na yung lumang pagkatao. Amen? Amen. Mamaya, madalaman nyo yung sinasabi ni Apostle Pablo dito, lumang pagkatao. This means that you must stop living the evil way you lived before. Baka salanan kayo noon eh. Tignan nyo na yung pagmamumuhay sa, mak- sa kasalanan. That old self gets worse and worse because people are fooled by the evil wala. Evil. Sorry tayo. Evil before. It's worse than working. Evil they want to do. You must be made new. Everybody say made new. Made new. In your hearts and in your thinking. Ano yung babaguhin natin dito? Stop telling lies. Amen mga kapatid? Hindi ko yata pinost dyan eh. Verse 24. Stop telling lies. Verse 26 to 27, stop living in anger. Nilagay ko ba dyan? O oh, sige. Stop telling lies. Ito yung lumamang pagkatao. Tigilan na yung pagsisinungaling. Sabihin mo sa tabi mo, tigilan na yung pagsisinungaling. Verse 24 yun. Kasi yan yung lumamang pagkatao eh. Stop living the old self, sabi ng Bible. Ano pa? Stop living in anger. Verse 26 at 27. Huwag na kayong mamuhay sa galit. Lumang pagkatao yan eh. Amen? Sabi mo sa tabi mo, lumang pagkatao yun. Stop stealing. Oh, bawal na magnakaw. Huwag nang magnakaw. Sabi niya, Pusal Pablo, yung mga magnanakaw dyan, sabi niya, tigilan nyo ng pagnanakaw. Magtrabaho kayo. Basahin nyo yung, yung chapter na yan. 
Yan ang sinasabi ng Apostle Pablo. Stop speaking bad words. Unbeliever yan eh. Huwag na kimamuhay niya. Kung believer ka kapatid, let me encourage you tonight, if you are a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, tigilan na yung lumang pagkatao. Amen? Stop speaking bad words. May mga kristyano, pag nag-uusap, bad words pa rin eh. Pag nagkwentuhan, ano, puro mura pa rin eh. Andiyan kayo? Lumang pagkatao yun eh. Ano pa? Stop living in bitterness. Basahin niyo yung verse na yun mga kapatid. Huwag na kimamuhay sa kapaitan, sa galit. Lumang pagkatao yun eh. Amen? Ephesians 4.32 Anong sabi ng Ephesians 4.32? Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God Christ forgive you. Yun pala yun mga kapatid. Number three and lastly po, last point ko mga kapatid, is exposition of your true identity. So ano ba yung sinasabi ng Biblia patungkol sa ating identity? Ready na tayo? Parang hindi pa kayo ready eh. Si... Si baby lang ready eh. Amen daw eh. Ready na tayo? Number three is exposition of your identity. Ano ba ang sinasabi? Ito, konti lang to eh. If you read the whole Bible, you will know who you are. Pero I will just give you some of your identity. Some of your identity, which is in the Bible. Your identity. Let us know what the truth of God's word says regarding your true identity. If you know who you are in Christ, it doesn't matter what other people think of you. Tama? Hello? It doesn't matter. Kasi sabi na sila, isa kang, isa kang walang kwentang tao. It doesn't matter. Hello? Bakit? You know who you are in Christ. Alam mo kung sino yung totoong ikaw. Amen? Ano ka ba? Your identity. When, when we are speaking about identity in Christ, We must agree what the Bible says who you are. Pag sinabi natin ito, we will we will just present some of identity which is in the Bible. Kung ano yung ano kung sinasabi ng Biblia patungkol sa true identity mo. Sasabihin natin, I am who God says I am. Amen? Okay, ready na kayo? Basahin natin. Number one is you are beloved. Post natin. Post natin, nasa na. Hello? All right. And the next. Yeah, beloved, anong sabi ng Jeremiah? I have loved you with what? Wag mong iisipin na walang nagmamahal sa iyo. Sabihin mo may nagmamahal sa iyo. In Christ, you are Beloved. Amen. Amen. Hello. Amen. Minsan parang ayaw natin maniwala. You are beloved. Ano ba? Everlasting love. Mahal ka ng Diyos, kapatid. You are beloved. Next. You are, I am, sabi natin. I am. Uh, beloved, I am. Amen. Ano pang sinabi ng Biblia? Next, a child of God. Ano sabi ng 1 John 3.1? Anak ka ng Diyos, kapatid. Yung anak nga ng presidente. Proud eh. Eh, hey, anak ako ng presidente. Ikaw lang naman, anak ka ng may likha ng langit at lupa. You are a child of God. Parang ayaw nyo ah. I am you. You are a child of God. Next, anong sabi ng Bible? Forgiven. 1 Peter 2.24, basahin natin. You are forgiven. Oh, I am. 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 I am
no? Magkaiba yung nagkakasala at isang makasalanan. Ang makasalanan, unbeliever yun. Ikaw, you are forgiven. Pinatawad ka na sa lahat ng iyong kasalanan. Kaya nga ligtas ka eh. Pinatawad ka, you are forgiven. Yes, pag sinasabi mo in general sense, we are all sinners. Okay yun, to, to emphasize the truth that we are all sinners. Pero when you are talking about your true identity, I am, you are forgiven, not a sinner. Eh, all of us are sinners. But personally, your identity in Christ is you are forgiven. Amen. Hindi, kasi, hindi kasi there. You are sinning, yes, magkaiba yun. Kaya nga sabi ng 1 John 1.9, eh. humingi ka ng tawad sa Panginoon, ikaw ipatatawarin. Because bakit nagkakasala ka? But you are no longer a sinner. You are forgiven. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Next is, you are cleansed. Sabi ng Bible, basahin natin. Isaiah. Lagi kong nadidinig minsan sa mga nagpe-pray, isa po akong Panginoon, isa po akong maruming basahan sa iyong harapan. <laughs> Kapag tayo ito sabi ng Bible, basahin natin ulit. Ay, 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 yung verse, yung verse, basahin natin. Isaiah 1.18, ang sabi ng Isaiah 1.18. Let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Hindi ka maruming basahan sa harapan ng Panginoon. Bakit? Nilinis ka na eh. Yung gawa ng tao na, na hindi nakabase sa gawa ng Panginoon sa Christ, yun ang maruming basahan. Yun ang tinutukoy ng konteks, kapatid. Yung gawa mo, maluming, maruming basahan sa, 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 sa harapan ng Diyos, kung it is apart from the works of Christ. Maruming basahan lang yan. It will not save you. Hindi sapat yan. Yung mga gawa mong kabutihan, hindi yan. Pero yung sasabihin mo, sasabihin, maruming basahan lamang po ako sa inyong harapan. Eh, sabi ng Biblia, you are cleansed. White as no. Wow, white. Kasing puti ng niebe ang paglinis sa'yo ng Panginoon. Ang tinitingnan mo, ang sa sarili mo, isa akong marumi. Yes, generally speaking, makasalanan tayong lahat. Pero because you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, now you are forgiven and now you are cleansed from your sins. Pag tinignan mo ang sarili mo, marumi. Pero pag tinignan ka ng Panginoong Iso Kristo, dahil sa dugo ng Panginoong Iso Kristo na nalatay sa pus ng Kalbaryo, nilinis ka na, malinis ka na. That's your true identity. You are who God says you are. I am? Next? Ano sabi? Pinalaya ka na. Meron pa bang nakakulong dito? Amen. Baka nakakulong pa kayo. Tandaan nyo, your true identity is in Christ is what? You are free. Kaya nga, free generation. Mga pinalaya. Merong isang isang batch sa Bible school namin ang pangalan, free gen. Free generation. Mga generation na pinalaya. Anong sabi ng Biblia? Basahin natin. For freedom. Pinalaya ka na kapatid. You are free. I am. Pinalaya ka na. I am. Who God says I am. Next is righteous. Duruin mo, righteous pala. Parang hindi natin nire-remind yung sarili natin sa ating true identity. Mga kapatid, nakakalimutan natin eh kung sino tayo eh. Righteous. Basahin natin for our sake. You are righteousness of God. Pero mo righteous ka pala sa harapan ng Panginoon. Hindi because of your own works. Because of the works of Jesus Christ. Dahil namatay sa ang, ang Panginoon Christ, sa krus ng Kalbaryo at naniwala ka sa Kanya, yung ginawa niyang pagbayad sa kasalanan ng tao ay pumasa iyo. Kaya you are righteous. Not because of your own works. Ano pa? You are I am? I am. You are what? Righteous. I am? Amen. Next is new creation. Ayan, binasa natin, key text natin. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Hindi ka na lumang ikaw. 
Minsan kasi parang namumuhay pa rin tayo katulad ng unbeliever. Bakit? Kasi ang akala natin, you are the same person. Hindi ko kaya mamuhay ng banal. Mamumuhay ako ng isang parang makasalanan. Kasi you don't know your true identity. Akala mo chicken ka pa rin. Amen, mga kapatid. You are a new creation. You are, ano sabi natin? I am, God says, I am. You are new creation. And next is you are saint. 1 Corinthians 6, na 11. Basahin natin. Basahin natin. Wash, and you are sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit. Palinis na tayo sa harapan ng Panginoon. Kaya nga kapag si Pablo sumulat sa mga mananampalataya to the saint of in, in Rome, to the saint in Corinthians, in Corinth, ang tunay na mananampalataya ay santo. Hindi pa pala kailangan magpa, ano pa, confer sa, sa Santo Papa para maging santo. Hindi mo kailangan mamatay para maging santo. Sa, sa iba, sa pananampalataya, kailangan mo mamatay muna para maging santo ka. Sa Biblia, kapatid, buhay ka pa, saint ka na. Bakit? May pananampalataya ka sa Panginoon. Eh. Basahin nyo ang Biblia, nakalagay doon. To the saint of in Corinth. To the saint, the Bible calls us saint. Bakit? Nilinis tayo. Eh. We are sanctified, we are justified. You are, anong sabi natin? I am Parang ang hina. I am You are a saint. I am Yon, praise God. Never alone. Ano bang sabi ng Bible? Keep your life Minsan itong nakakalimutan natin eh I'm alone, mag-isa lang ako sa buhay, ako lang mag-isa. Nagiging lonely tayo eh. Pwedeng alone ka mga kapatid, but never lonely. Alone ka physically, but tandaan mo palaging mong kasama ang Panginoong Hesus Kristo. Hindi ka nag-iisa. Sabi ng Panginoong Hesus Kristo, I will never leave you. O kung sino yung mga ibang tao, iniwan ka na eh. Pero sabi ng Panginoong Hesus Kristo mismo, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen? Amen? You are never alone. I am? I am. I, amen. Ano pa? You are more than conqueror. Dalawa na lang. Kasi konti lang naman ito eh. Marami pa mga kapatid, but I'm just giving you some. You are more than conqueror. Romans 8.37 no, We are more than conquerors through Him who love us. So hindi tayo Lupay-pay. Hindi tayo talunan. You are more than conqueror. I am. Yan sabi sa'yo na paano, that's your identity. Hindi talunan, mga kapatid, lastly, victorious. Sa 1 Corinthians 15.57 Thanks be to God, Jesus, ang tingin mo sa sarili mo, you are just such a I'm just, I'm such a loser. But sabi ng Biblia, your identity is what? You're victorious. Agumpay ka na, kapatid. Agumpay ka na dahil sa Panginoong Iso Kristo. That's your true identity. Kahit parang ang tingin mo sa sasalili mo, ay isa akong talunan, wala na akong ginawang tama sa buhay. Hindi yung mga kapatid. Lagi kang bagsak. <laughs> Pero hindi yan yung context, ha? You are victorious. Tandaan mo, no? You are victorious. When I was a youth pastor, mga kapatid, to remind everyone of their identity, alam niyo yung ginawa ko, lahat binigyan ko ng code name. Ang code name nila yung identity in Christ. Alam niyo ang code name ko? Code name ko ay more than conqueror. Hanggang ngayon natutuwa ako kasi nag-umuwi ako ng Pilipinas, yung mga naging youth-youth na inalagaan ko, alam pa nila yung code name nila. Pag tinanong mo, ito, I am chosen. O, I am a saint. I, ako ang code name ko more than ko kaya yung yung email address ko noon more than kankero no? kaya mayroong code name to remind them saan ko nakuha yun inspired yun doon sa school namin high school eh nung high school para matandaan namin ang ang scientific name ng mga gulay ng mga vegetable pinag code name sa amin ng teacher namin doon galing yun yung teacher namin sabi niya para matandaan yung scientific name ng mga ng mga gulay ng mga halaman 
bibigyan ko kayo ng code name. Ang code name ko nun, Mumordika Charantia. Kaya, alam ko yun, yun yung Ampalaya. Mumordika Charantia. Ampalaya. Ano? Ginawa ko yun sa youth, sa youth group ko. Sabi ko sa kanila, ito para matandaan nyo kung sino kayo sa Panginoon. Your true identity in Christ. Ginawa ko yung code name nila. Kaya ngayon, tanda pa nila yung mga code name nila. Anong code name mo? Alam nila eh. To remind us who we are in Christ. Kasi nakakalimutan natin eh. Akala natin chicken tayo. Diba? You are an eagle. We must align ourselves according to our true identity. Andiyan kayo mga kapatid. Kasi naliligaw ka ng landas. Bakit? Namumuhay ka ng chicken. Kumakain ka ng parang chicken. Kasi akala mo isa kang chicken. We must align ourselves according to our true identity in Christ. You are righteous kapatid. Bakit ka gumagawa niyan? Andiyan kayo. You are chosen, you are righteous, you are holy. So therefore, start, start walking according to your identity. You must align your identity. You're a loser, kaya nagiging ganun ka. No? Talunan ako sa buhay, ganito na lang ako, wala akong mararating. Kaya naman yung buhay mo, ganun din. You are victorious. Tandaan mo kapatid. Your identity in Christ should what? Number one, ito. Uh, pwede na tong isang sermon eh. But let me just make it a, a short one. Your identity should what? Distinct you, define you, direct you, and drives you. Yung identity mo kapatid, you are no longer the old you. You are different from the world. It distincts, distincts you. Iba ka. Sa iba. Sa, sa, sa kaibahan na, sa buong mundo. Si, si Cesar, it distincts you. Your true identity. You are chosen. You are righteous. You are saint. You are child of God. It distincts you. Ito, unbeliever. So iba ka, kapatid. It distincts you. Kaya huwag mong sasabihin kapareho ka lang ng mundo. If you are living like the world, you're probably from the world. You belong to the world. Kaya nga it should distinct you. Iba ka, kapatid. Amen? Kaya nga sabi ng Biblia, we are in this world, but we are out of this world. Nandito ka sa mundo, pero hindi ka tiga rito. Kaya nga we are aliens. Eh. We are citizens of heaven, sabi ng Biblia. It define, defines you. Define you. Your self-worth is anchored in your true identity in Christ. This is how your, this is now your true Identity, new identity. Ikaw na yun. Yun na yun. It defines you. Ito si Cesar. Hindi, hindi, mag, hindi magnanakaw. Hindi, hindi chismoso. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hindi marites. You know? Maritos. <laughs> Lalaki eh. Oh, <laughs> no? <laughs> you know? Hindi ikaw yun. That's not your... It defines you. Your true identity in Christ, it defines you. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I'm a friend of God. That's your true identity. Ano pa? It directs you. Ano? Ano? It directs you. Our new identity leads you to, to do all things for the glory of God. You're, you have a new purpose. Dati, itong buhay mo, dito ka lang nakatingin. Ngayon, may bago kang purpose. Ako pala yung anak ng Diyos. Ako pala, ako pala holy, ako pala righteous. So it directs you, and it leads you to right direction. Dati papunta ka sa ano eh, kaliwaan eh, sa biglang liko. Ngayon papunta ka na sa tamang landas. Bakit? Your true identity directs you. Ito ang lakad mo kapatid. Ano pa? It drives you. Your new identity should be your motivation in doing God's will. You are doing good because you are Righteous. Amen? It drives you. Bakit ka gumagawa ng mabuti? Dahil magpakitang tao. Yung ibang tao, ah, itong ginagawa ko, gum- nagbibigay ako ng pagkain sa mahihirap because of fame, because of likes, because of uh, because of views. Diba? Para kumita. But your true identity will what? Drives you to do those things. Bakit ka tumutulong sa mahihirap? Bakit ka gumagawa ng kabutihan? Bakit? Because of your true identity, you are righteous. Parang ayaw niyo maniwala, you are righteous. <laughs> ayaw niyo maniwala sa true identity niyo. You are an eagle, mga kapatid. Stop letting, let me close, mga kapatid. Stop letting the world define who you are. Do not let the enemy deceive you 
and derail you from your true identity. Let us keep reminding ourselves of our true identity and start aligning ourselves to it. If someone knock, if, if you some if you knock someone's door and he asks you who you are, how will you answer? Pag kumatok kayo sa pintuan, if you knock someone's door, tinanong niya kayo, who's there? Kaya nga knock, knock who's there. Eh. Some, and he asks, who's there? Anong isasagot niyo? I am a loser? I am a sinner? I am who God says I am. I am a child of God. I am righteous. I am chosen. I am more than conqueror. I am victorious in Christ. That's your true identity. Amen. Which is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all stand. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding who we are in Christ. Thank you for the truth that we have heard uh, this evening, Lord God. Patuloy niyo pong kapong kumilos sa aming puso. Tumimo itong katotohanan na ito kung sino po talaga kami. Dahil sa aming pagkakilalan sa inyo, Panginoon. Dahil kami nakakilala sa iyo bilang Panginoon, tagapagligtas po namin, Panginoon. Pero po kaming new identity which is found in you, O Lord. The, your, your word says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Salamat po, Panginoon, for reminding us of all this truth, Lord God. Maraming salamat po. Ito po ang dalangin namin. Sa ng Ama, ng Anak, ng Espiritu Santo, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen.